It is. It's an inland course, and they wanted it to make. You are to carry the, the upslope in front of the flag. Straight downwind. The right wind helping. Got to land this ball yesterday. In the dark. In the dark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This morning against Azinger and dodged the bullet. 17th. You already saw Azinger go to the right of the bunker. 189 yards. <laughs> Another great tip for to warming up is I get down onto my knees here because as we will talk so much about the solidity of the knees, if you can make them your solid base, then as you turn your backswing, you're going to really feel that stretch. This is a great warm-up for you. You can really feel that stretch in the lower back. So take it around slowly in the morning and a great way of visualizing the plane of the swing because now it's such a short club. If you did this with a full-length club, your arms would be out too straight. So the fact is only two foot long. My arms are actually hanging in exactly the same position as they would be for a full golf club. So as I said, great to turn round, get you on plane, and then turning through, it's a little more difficult, but again, it's great for that stretch, you see, to stretch this right side to simulate the follow through. Take your stance, as you work your left shoulder back and under, you can see you can keep it quite still, and as you work back through, when you get past impact position, now the right shoulder is going to collect the chin, you see, and as you pull through, you let it go with it. The last thing I want you to do is try and stay there, because what would happen, you'll block yourself and you're going to hit the ball straight right. So the right shoulder hits the chin and collects it. Yeah, now what I want you to do is put your knees into the sofa. Left right. hand over the top of the right hand, so you've got the two backs of the hands together. Now as you take your back swing, that's going to help you get some rotation here. You have this right hand moves round, it's going to pull the left forearm. So that's our backswing tip. And you see what happens if I do this incorrectly with my legs. You see I get to that reverse pivot position where the left leg shoots forward and the right knee's coming back. So what we're trying to do is keep some light pressure into the sofa here. So as I rotate, they stay there. And now it's automatically made me move over to the right side. And this is a great position to help you visualize getting over onto your right side. And on the downswing where it can help you is the people who make their right leg move too quickly, obviously, they would go and ram it into the sofa here. So what we're trying to do is make the right knee slide towards the left knee. We don't want it shooting into the sofa here. So that will slide over in a nice straight line. We rotate the arms again through to our follow through in your swing because what it will do is this brace isn't stay straighter. It makes the top half of the body work so much faster. So it's as simple as that. You just keep swinging away and you'll feel how much more this right side is getting to the ball, which is obviously going to help you from if you were coming across the ball so much and you never got through it, see that right shoulder stays back. So there we go, really release that right shoulder and I think that will really help you.